Hello everyone, today I'm releasing my new Hunter UI and Wigoras pack covering all three specs, the Beast Mastery, Marksmanship and Survival Hunters. All my user interface are entirely free so you can proceed to download them from my website link in the description below. And in the links below you will also find two videos. The first video is a basic guide on how you can install my UI and more importantly customize my UI and Wigoras to track your very own trinkets, spells, and other advanced logic. The second video is a 90 minute long vod showing you how I built an entire UI from scratch together with Twitch chat using the Windwalker as an example. And all these revamped Wikoras are now foreign language compatible, so it works even if you're not playing the English version of the game. And with that out of the way, let me walk you through the components of my UI for every single spec so you know exactly how they function, after you import them into your very own game. Let's start with the Beast Mastery Hunter and we'll talk about the first row of icons. The top row tracks your rotational abilities which is the bread and butter of the buttons you will press. Naturally, when the abilities are on cooldown, the icons will be desaturated and greyed out. As usual, we do not track abilities that do not have a cooldown associated with them. The core abilities here are Kill Command, the two charges of Barb Shot, Bestial Wrath, Kill Shot which glows when it's usable, Chimera Shot and Murder of Crows if talented, and it then rounds off with your Covenant abilities. I've configured it such that your Covenant abilities will change depending on which Covenant you picked. If you'd like to track an unused trinket in this row, you can. My how to install video will show you how to customize it. The second row then tracks various utilities and cooldowns that includes Concussive Shot, Exhilaration, Turtle, Feign Death, Intimidation, Counter Shot, Freezing Trap, etc. Moving on to the elements above the icons, you will see a green bar that denotes the amount of focus buildup you have and the white figure tells you exactly how much focus you have. Above all of that is your buff bar that tracks various important buffs and durations. For instance, the remaining duration of Beast Cleave, Beast Steel Wrath, Turtle, Camouflage, Aspect of the Cheetah, etc. That sums up the Beast Mastery Hunter, let's move on to talk about the Marksmanship Hunter. Similarly, the top row tracks your rotational abilities and when they are on cooldown, the icons will be desaturated and greyed out. The key abilities tracked here are the two charges of Aim Shot, Rapid Fire, Double Tap, Murder of Crows, True Shot, Explosive Shot, Barrage, and Kill Shot which glows when it's usable. And lastly, it then rounds off with your Covenant abilities that changes based on your Covenant. The second row of icons then track your cooldowns and utilities including True Shot, Concussive Shot, Volley, Turtle, Feign Death, Binding Shot, Counter Shot, Freezing Trap, etc. And above your icons, you will also see a green bar that denotes your focus buildup, and the white figure tells you exactly how much focus you have. Finally, rounding it off is a buff bar on top of everything. It tracks various important buffs to a marksmanship hunter, including Trick Shots, Streamline, True Shot, Double Tap, Feign Death, Turtle, and Aspect of the Cheetah, etc. And that sums up the Marksmanship Hunter, let's move on to talk about the Survival Hunter. Similarly for the Survival Hunter, the top row tracks your rotational abilities and when they are on cooldown, the icons will be desaturated and greyed out. The key abilities tracked here are the two charges of Wildfire Bomb, Kill Command, Raptor Strike, Calf, Serpent Sting, and Kill Shot which glows when usable. And lastly, it rounds off with your Covenant abilities that changes based on your Covenant. The second row of icons that track your cooldowns and utilities including Coordinated Assault, Aspect of the Eagle, Turtle, Feign Death, Intimidation, Muzzle which is your Interrupt, and Freezing Trap. Above your icons, you'll see a green bar that denotes how much focus you have and the white figure tells you exactly how much focus you have. Finally, you will also see a buff bar on top of it all. It tracks various buffs important to a survival hunter, including Feign Death, Aspect of the Eagle, Coordinated Assault, Viper Venom, Turtle, and Aspect of the Cheetah. And that, my friend, sums up the walkthrough of my UI for all three specs of a hunter in the Shadowlands. You can find a step-by-step -step video install guide in the description below that covers how to install the UI and weak auras in three simple steps as well as answers to some frequently asked questions including how to track your own abilities, trinkets, how to move the weak auras and resize them amongst other questions. My website where you install the user interfaces and weak auras also have detailed instructions on how to install them. All feedback and questions are welcome. For feedback, definitely drop them in my Discord community and I will update the weak auras over time to address the bug fixes and errors. 
If you have questions about the user interface and weak auras, feel free to drop by my live stream. I stream most days of the week. My Twitch handle is in the description below. Happy to answer any of your questions live. If this video was helpful, do subscribe to my channel. I publish daily Shadowlands videos and World of Warcraft videos, and I'll be releasing class weak auras and user interfaces for every single spec in the game. Lastly, a big thank you to my Patreon subscribers for supporting me. You folks make it possible for me to build and maintain the user interfaces and weak auras for all the classes. And a big thank you to you for supporting the video. Take good care and enjoy the user interfaces. I'm